Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, us being able to see the things for what they truly are and knowing there are lessons and blessings that we take along our path is truly, you know, is truly magical to me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you toward the positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are very informative to you or just even give you good vibes that you would love to pass on to a loved one, a uh, friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times, need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, um, my manifestation, Lord have mercy, my meditation music, uh, and it must be manifesting something because it, it, that's never a coincidence or accident when you accidentally say something like that. Um, it's called 528 Hertz, Hertz Solfigo uh, Sleep Music Repairs DNA Mir Miracle Tone. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Um, hey, Okas, tell me how to get to Sesame Street. Girl, uh, I was like, girl, sorry, my friend just texted me. Um, going through all these things, you know, that always used to be the six million dollar question, um, that I've always wanted to know about because that used to be my favorite show with Oscar the Grouch and you know, Big Bird and Bert and Ernie and all those things. I grew up on that, that's really telling my age, especially if you t think about Electric Company, that's really telling my age. But I always wanted to know, I even asked my friend, parents how, how we get to Sesame Street, and that's just like our lives, you know what I'm saying? It can be really shook up, <laughs> and you can start seeing it's like a spiritual awakening you are not you know you try to find your way down say sesame street and that's how our life is um going through all those different things you know it can be scary it can be very unknown you know you don't know where your life is leading you but it's just that you always have to know that the universe is not you know going to send you out to pastures you know just to like leave you a balance um imbalanced or whatever or you know stranded because it's like a lot of things we take along our path. We are learning a lot of different things. We get lessons and blessings through bad experiences and good experiences. You know, you're heading towards something in your life to enhance it. Um, help the universe as well, helping yourself. Healing yourself is healing the universe. There's so many things that we're doing that we're learning off of each other as well as we're teaching each other by telling our different views. Tell us about opinions that, you know, things that we go through in life to maybe be able to help others as well. You know, we're going through tragic things. At any time um you've done gone through situations you know it can be very scary it can be very hurtful you know things that you've gone through that you never thought that you might be able to heal from but it's all about how you had took that chance to see that perspective for what it truly was because yes it's painful for us to go through and experience abuse from any kind of way from sexual verbal physical you know anything and it, it's just like that stuff is stuck with us until we learn how to heal. We learn to separate ourselves from that. We are not what that is. You know, um, being able to do that, you're going down a path of unknown uncertainty. You know, that could be the most scariest situation it is because we're in human form. And us being able to see things for what they truly are, it, it takes a while. You know, you have to be able to experience things over and over again for you to be able to get the gist of like, oh, this is what this was trying to teach me. Is this, you know, because especially when you're so close to blessings, it would be so hard. It, it sometimes it's like when you can be right here and you're right here, like this is you, this is your blessing. 
if the littlest things that any other person could have walked away from is hell for you to have to get rid of it just because you you know what us being hey because we wonder why are you doing this uh why you you know why is this happening to me let me get to investigate that and there's a lot of times we we try to find solutions to a problem was it and it wasn't actually for us to be able to serve you know uh find that that answer to that problem it wasn't there's a lot of times like i told y'all before it was like a video i put out you know a lot of times we're placed in certain situations for it to be able to change us change about how we look at things things that we're weak in we end up having that strength to come back like i told y'all yesterday a lot of times but all the time that's how it is you know we choose what family that we placed ourselves in we we tell whoever's in charge hey i want to be able to take this on yes it seems like this is going to be crazy but i got it yes then you were like yes you signed up for this stuff millions and millions of years ago but you know we didn't get a chance to see the fine print you like we took all this we we assigned ourselves to this situation but on the way down they don't wiped our memory out so we we already knew how this was going to play out because they were showing us how it's going to play out are you going to go through this and this and this and that but the side effect is we're going to wipe your memory out. You already know it, what you had to go through. You already know you had to go through these situations. But we had to place you there for you to learn all over again. See, they didn't give us that. We, we sat up here and signed a signature and didn't even read the fine print because we were so busy trying to know that we got this. We did this. We're going to do this. So it's just like, you know, we're trying to find our way down Sesame Street because we don't know. They ain't never told us. They're like, shoot, they never told me how we're going to get past Sesame Street. You know, and that's how our life is. We're on this path. We don't know where it's going to take us. We, we have that fear because we don't see what's coming around the corner. You don't see what this situation is about to make you as. But it's like you get that somewhat of a deja vu moment like why does this feel so familiar to me why does it feel like i've done this before because you allowed yourself to see everything that you were going to go through step by step screen by screen chapter by chapter and you were like dang but they just left out a couple of you know left out some few snippets so you don't know you know what is going to actually go on through that lifetime so you had to go ahead and learn yourself all over again you can't know the things that you knew before you got here so we're put in human form where we judge people they judge us we abuse people they abuse us we're narcissistic or we get put with narcissists it's all like all these chain of events that we have to go through just to be able to find our path towards that big thing of sesame street you know going through these different trials and tribulations for us to help others as well we're helping ourselves so yeah you know it can be scary you know i'm still trying to figure out where the hell sesame street is where the, what what am i supposed to do when i get towards sesame street that's my question <laughs> all those different things that come on i know y'all probably be laughing at me like rosalyn you be coming up with the weirdest metaphors hey but it's just like nope i try to do things a lot different yeah <laughs> so when we go through all these different things knowing yes the road is going to be scary yes it, it becomes it, if you don't allow it nothing can affect you unless you allow it and that's a lot of times it's hard to do you know, because when we're in our human form, you know, we're not perfect. You know, we learn new things every day. You know, just being able to uplift each other through all these crazy situations is a blessing. You know, there's some of us are still stuck on certain things that has happened to us. And that's fine, too. But it's like sooner or later, you're going to have to give up that point of, you know, these are things that we can't change. We are not able to change narcissistic people. They have to be able to change for yourself. You know, do we think, can they change? You know, from what it said, they don't. But, you know, it you know, I felt like I was narcissistic at one time because I started feeding off, you know, what my what my family put me in. I was putting my children through, except I didn't, you know, physically handle them like they handled me. But being able to actually see the glass halfway full instead of not empty, try to think of a, you know, an optimistic way instead of a pessimistic way. My tragedy has brought me so many blessings. Um, it allowed me to be able to open my life up, you know, tell my world experience, even though it was a scary situation because I did not know where this road was going to lead me to. That's my road to Sesame Street, to be able to place that, you know, that open book out, you know, not worried about, you know, how people get me, will they believe me, um, 
will they understand me? You know, it's different between you understanding me and you know me. A lot of people think they know me, you know, but that's assumption. You have to really, you know, really, really get to me, you know, get to know me in every different direction, you know. And I mean, that's a blessing to me. Sometimes people, you know, they're not going to have kind things to say about me. Some of them are, you know, a lot of people just is going to be saying all different type of stuff and it's just fine to me but you know being able to experience these situations and you know um being able to help other people that those are the blessings that i feel about you know a lot of y'all been telling me that i came into your life at your most darkest moments um i understood you when nobody else would uh, i seen you for who you are when other people couldn't you know, and it is just like it amazed me how much you know y'all have opened my eyes as you open, you know, as I opened yours, and it, it was just a blessing within itself to me that I can be able to place these, you know, mistakes, my lessons, my blessings, and my videos to be able to help other people understand the situations that they're going through, saying, you know, it's not going to be easy. Nobody said it was. We're not perfect. You know, you learn new things about ourselves and other people and how the world works every day. It's just up to you if you want to be able to take that chance because a lot of people are not comfortable with change. You know, it, a lot of people are not comfortable with that because you have to go off of something that you can't see and you can't touch. You know, but that's when you, you know, you're on that journey to self-discovery, being able to learn yourself and embrace embrace the bad side is the good side because it's like if it weren't for your bad side of making the mistakes and the things that we're not proud of it wouldn't have got us to where we are now and being able to learn from our mistakes and know that we are not our mistakes you know even though sometimes clearly you know don't know how to drop stuff like that you know i've had people in my life that still brings up old things that I've done in my life you know I'm just like you know this is the reason why I separated myself because I, I feel like yeah I have no problem with telling people what I've been through you know especially with me being the daughter I am of who I am you know pretty soon it's gonna come out anyway you know so I'd rather put the dirt out on myself to say you know hey you know yeah these things happen to me yes I got evicted out of my house yeah I don't roll bad checks before you know I shoplifted before I don't have bank accounts that's overdrawn I don't got evicted I don't got my car repossessed but all these things I had to go through just to be able to get to the person I am yet now yes I used to be a weed smoker yes I used to be a pill popper you know all these things I learned from it made me evolve and mold myself into the person I am because it's like those are my experiences those are the things that I went through you know I would do anything if I had to work wine back I would have did the same thing for my children because that's what I did you know um nobody's perfect you know uh, we learn from the things that we have uh experienced in life you know there's a lot of things we have done that we're not perfect you know especially when you're young you know we, we you know we're exploring we do crazy stuff we do stupid things but as long as you know you're not still like Cat William said as long as you ain't doing the same stuff you were doing 20 minutes 20 years ago you know you have to upgrade a little bit you know um going through these things has been very life-changing for me I never knew I was gonna wake up and say hey I'm Prince's daughter or you know hey I'm you know I'm gonna be with a family that knew who my dad was and was a rock star and threw it in my face all the time and you know lived off the money you know all these crazy things i never thought i was gonna go through but it's just like i've, I've said many times before i'm grateful for my experiences because if i did not go through the abuse of years of abuse um or altering the, they're altering my life the way they want it to be i would have never knew what i was capable of i would have never been able to see the strength and, and the confidence i had in myself being able to open up and not you know worry about how people perceive me about oh, okay if they're gonna believe me or not like shoot your empaths you know when you're getting fed bs when, when you're getting fed, fed bs you know it's like oh mm, something ain't right about what they're saying you know and just being able to open up and tell my life experiences you know knowing i never knew it was going to be able to affect people the way it has and being able to know that the things I've told people I went through and how I try to look at it and, you know, allow people to see their situation and look at it, you know, you don't have to constantly keep putting yourself through a situation when you know you're trying to leave it. You, you know, when we go through things and we experience things in life, 
it can be tragic and it's like things can still be going on but it's your choice you know a lot of time we, we feel like i'm stuck I, there's no way i can get myself through this that's that's what you know darkness wants you to think that's what ego wants you to think that's you living off your ego you know yeah there's times where you have gone through experienced things and you know in your life where you felt stuck i felt like i was stuck in my certain situation but if i believe in myself keep working on myself keep making my videos keep helping other people allowing them to see what they need to see about their life me learning off of them and you know them learning off of me you know i i never know where that's going to take me to but i know it's like when you at rock bottom there ain't nowhere else you can go but up you know you have to be able to put that you know that that effort in with yourself and healing yourself where you need to be healed all the things that have been weak in your life you see that it plays a big major part in your life like there, there you know like I, I like there are situations where I know one of my love bugs that sent me a while back uh, a beautiful poem that this person is at set up here wrote like when they, you know, when they ask God for patience, God put you in certain situations where you had no other choice but to be patient. You ask God for faith, God puts you in certain situations where he allows you to see the things that he has halted in your life, as well as enhanced to see that had to be faith. You know, when they put you in certain, you want, you want to believe in yourself. God puts these things, these duties in your life for you to be able to push out and be anything that scares you. Those are the things you're supposed to go for. You know, I work on those each and every day. You know, if it's something I want to go for, then I go for it. If it's not, it's not, it's not, you know, if I'm not led that way, I'm not going to go that way. You know, the only time, you know, only person can stop you from getting what you want is you. You know, a lot of times I'll tell y'all about people that have put you know, try to block me, block my blessings. That's because I allowed them to, because I was, you know, instead of putting my energy on the things that I needed to do to push myself forward, I was worrying about what people were putting on me because they didn't want me to have what I have. There's a lot of people that don't want me to come forth, you know, and be out there because I'm my dad's daughter. That's fine. I mean, but that's not your journey for you to be able to do that because it's just like I tell anybody, when God had something for you, when he's ready for that door to open, he feels like you're ready on divine timing. You know, there's going to be a door that no man ain't going to be able to shut for you. You know, no matter who feels like you should have what, you know, because that's not their judgment to place upon you. Even though, you know, as us being human, we do that. So, you know, when you're going down your Sesame Street, know that, you know, it will make some sense somewhere down the line. You know, you learn something about, about yourself or about life. Or just life lessons around every corner, every stop sign, every stoplight, every yield. So, you know, allow yourself to see what, you know, where your Sesame Street is. So, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe Independence Day. If you celebrate that, be safe. Don't be over here blowing your ass up or blowing your hands up. I blew my hands up one time, but that's just a story I'm just not going to tell. But that was one of my danger-prone Daphne situations. So, um, I hope you're able to, uh, you know, get something out of my video. Let me know if you did. Or oh, also give me a post notification shout out when you drop a comment. So, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I'll have a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Hit that bell and hit the notification. Hit the notification and subscribe. That's what I'm going to say. Give me a thumbs up and also share. And I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Ritz Crackers, uh, Official YG, and uh, let me see, Richard Moore. Much love to you as well. And I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always a man out there praying for your better days. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, and I hope and pray that everything you're aiming towards comes into fusion for you. Much love. Peace.